Hi everyone, I'm Matt DiNapoli here at Cisco Live and I'm joined by Laura Vetter. Uh, she's the CTO of Evolutio, one of our partners that worked on the FSO platform. Um, in our previous video, she actually talked to us about what their experience was like working with the FSO platform, but we really wanted to talk to them today about what Evolutio does and the solution that they actually built. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, could you tell us uh, a little bit about Evolutio and what you guys do, and then we'll get into the solution. So Evolutio at its core is our experts in data. So okay. obviously observability systems spit out a ton of data from telemetry data to logs to events. So we help customers really make sense of the large amount of data they have, right. prioritize certain data types that are really important to the business, and really get that business observability lens put onto the data. Well, that's fantastic. Um, I know the, you know the mountains of data that we can generate from networking platforms, from uh, fi you know, financial systems, from application services, all of those things um, are only as good as our ability to sift out what's really important. And so it's exciting to hear that there's partners involved with us doing that kind of work and helping us navigate that with our customers. So very, very cool. So um, the solution that you guys built on the FSO platform, can you tell us a little bit about that? So we have a customer that's a major bank in the United States, okay. and they have a part of their company that processes credit card transactions. Okay. And they process credit card transactions for a lot of hotel chains okay. and gas stations oh. and um, like airport places where you might buy a newspaper and a water. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of those customers, and if you're at a credit card kiosk and it doesn't work, mm -hmm. it's a really big deal because you're probably leaving the store. Right. And so the vendor, the people that are contracting with this credit card processor, they're losing money. Yeah. So that causes pain to our credit card processor because they're trying to keep their customers, keep their customers happy, you yeah. know, really have a seamless digital experience for their customers. So before working with Evolution and App Dynamics, they really didn't have great visibility into this. They okay. really had customers calling in and saying, hey, we lost some business today because we missed some transactions did you guys have something going on? Yeah. So it was way in the rearview mirror that they couldn't get in front of issues, they couldn't route to different things, it was already in the past. So about four years ago, we started partnering with them with Cisco App Dynamics, and we brought their credit card processing data it really was the mainframe post-processing. So when they wrote the record at the bank saying this happened, mm -hmm. we have a huge payload that says which issuing bank was it, which router and switch did it go through, which schema did it go through. And so that packet now comes into AppDynamics Analytics and we do a ton of, of analysis on it. Yeah. And really the key part of AppDynamics that is driving massive results for that solution is the baselining. Yeah. So we have thousands of metrics. So for instance, a major hotel chain that is one of their customers, they have all their own metrics. Mm -hmm. So they know if that major hotel chain, say in France, is having issues. Mm -hmm. They know exactly where the issue is. They know if it's with the bank. They know if it's with the card issuer. They know if it's one of, one of the routers or switches. Yeah. So for them, those baselines tell them everything. Yes. So when the baselines are quiet, they don't, they don't, they go about their business. Yeah. And when the baselines start lighting up, they start investigating, they start switching routers, they start moving switches, they start moving schemas, because they know exactly what to do. This is exciting because usually when we talk about um, observability, we're talking about things about at the application and you know end user experience, but mainly like, hey, this is running slow, or you know, I'm not able to get to this particular website. It's really exciting to hear about things that actually have a monetary driver to them. Yes. And that's that's an interesting thing. Um, as part of this solution, and this is just my interest in it, um, are you actually able to tie those experiences or, or negative experiences to, to dollar amounts? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're that's bringing awesome. in the dollar amounts. So obviously, it's private to them on yes, what those dollar amounts are. But we say, this data center is moving this much business dollar-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we say, this um, this customer, you know, they're being impacted, and this is the amount of business they're being impacted. Yeah. Because the way that baselining works, that it's hour of day, day of the week, mm -hmm. they're really good. Yeah. And this, this customer's volume is absolutely unbelievable, some of the highest I've seen, which helps the baselines <laughs> be amazing. Right. So, so really, it was the perfect storm. They were so happy with the, the solution that they gave the solution its own name. Okay. And they call it Sentinel. Oh, Sentinel. So okay. they don't call the solution Cisco. They don't call the solution App Dynamics. They don't call it Evolution. Mm -hmm. They call it Sentinel. Okay. Because it is the man standing at the door saying, 
you're good or yeah, you're bad. Yeah, you know, right. what's going on here? Damn, should I be on alert? Yeah. Yeah. So it's really just letting them know what's going on with their business. Wow, that's really exciting. Um, so we've heard uh, a couple of people talk about what they've done on the FSO platform so far. And what I think I'm starting to take away from these conversations is there's now an, a whole wide open space for us to build different kinds of solutions that we wouldn't even be able to think about before. Yes, um, absolutely. And that's that's really fun. Because you're really not locked into a data scheme. Yeah. You're not locked into some kind of out of the box data gathering scheme right. that you might have had. Mm -hmm. You're really allowed to bring in whatever context you want and correlate it with the other data that's in there. Yeah. And then update it as necessary as business yes. cha changes, as insights are, more insights are desired or less insights are desired. We so, can always adjust so that. For, for the FSO platform, we decided to bring that solution to the FSO platform. Okay. So we brought that exact same thing to the FSO platform. It has the baselines. Mm -hmm. It really, it was a lot easier. We had to build actually a lot less than okay. we did in the CSAS platform right. because so much of it is out of the box. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, people have asked me how much of the solution that we built is Evolucio and how much of it is Cisco. It's 80% plus Cisco. Oh. It's Cisco powered. That's cool. You know, the engine running this thing is Cisco. So it's giving you the opportunity to do less of the, the nuts and bolts thing and, and actually add the creative aspect on top of yes. the platform. That's yes. awesome. That is really fun now, to hear. Now, for that same customer in CSAS, we also have monitored their branches. Okay. We actually use tracing to do that and end user monitoring, so like the how the branch um, application is doing. So yeah. when people log into the web UI of the application, what kind of experience are they having? And right. we just collected data like what branch are they in? Yeah. Who is it? What's their employee ID? So we can tell if somebody's struggling, is it them? Is it their branch? Is it their whole region? Mm -hmm. Like scope of impact? And we're able to really focus efforts on regions or branches that are having issues. And then, the, but the baseline still, like the, the concept baselines the baseline still, still. I think the branches, it's also really interesting comparing them to their peers. Okay. So oh, you can compare yeah. them to their peers in region, you compare mm -hmm. them to their peers nationally, yeah. you can compare them to their peers globally. So yeah. that has been an interesting thing too of saying, you know, looking at outliers, because that again is such a large data set. Right. And we've split it up in a way that's really relevant to the business. So you can do peer comparisons then. Yeah, because then you can tell if it's an issue with just the, the one individual or organization yes. or if it's something that's tied to the regional aspects or, um, yes. you know, maybe some larger thing is going on that's affecting. Yeah, so I think when we think about other things we'll do for financials, It'll be something around branches. Okay. I also think in financials, customer acquisition is okay. actually a massive uh, business case for them, like yeah. being able to quickly acquire, acquire a new customer. For instance, if you apply for a credit card, mm -hmm. a lot of times you're thinking of a big purchase. You have a big purchase in mind. Maybe you're buying a sofa. Okay. If that credit card issuer is able to give you a decision now, mm -hmm. yes or no, either way, that's a great experience. If they say we're not sure, come back in seven days, We'll let you know in seven days. They've lost that client. Yeah. That that client is going to another credit card issuer and applying for a credit card. Right. And a lot of times it's a tech problem oh, that really? causes the delay. Wow. So what they really need to get after, and we've helped clients do that in CSAS, and so I think that's another financial services use case that is really exciting that we'll definitely get after. Wow, that's really cool. Thank you for joining us, giving us a peek behind the curtain about what happens at Evolutio, how you guys, have, the solution that you build as part of this. Um, and you know, the testimonial for us is, is fantastic and it really makes me excited as a developer advocate to say, I can't wait for people to build on top of this platform. So thank you yeah, so much for that, Laura. And I'm really it. thankful for this opportunity today and thanks for having me. Yeah, cheers. All right. Okay.